day the Channel 4 was dedicating one week to show the Arab, Arab films. And the first film was uh, uh, Bab al Hadid by Yusuf Shaheen. I don't know whether anybody of you saw that film. It's a uh, black and white film. And uh, she saw the film. After the film, she called me. She said to me, I don't believe it. Do you produce such brilliant films in the 50s? I said to her, yes, I was trying to convince you that we write poem, <coughs> we make films, we make plays, and we make music. We are <laughs> ordinary people like any, anybody else. Uh, it's not enough to be good. Uh, you have to show other people that you are good. Yes, yes, in Ramadan, hopefully I'm working now on a new series called uh, uh, A Love Story, Qasid Hub. I'm playing uh, the role of uh, Arabic uh, school teacher. I teach Arabic and have so many students in my classroom and they are so different. We have the students running after the drugs. We have still, they are all uh, uh, teenagers. And one of them is occupied by downloading pornographic films from the internet and distributing that among his friends in the school. And also we have uh, two or three students who are Islamic fundamentalists. And uh, the whole story of the series about this school and the families, the parents of those students, I think it's going to be controversial somehow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a question, and you can go ahead. Go to your question. Did you receive any uh, invitation to act in any uh, Western movie or movies? Uh, once in the Kingdom of Heaven, the film yeah. by Ridley Scott, but I didn't like the role. Uh, my question is. And the, uh, the next time was uh, uh, Spielberg film. Uh, I forget, it's about the Munich. Uh, has anybody seen that film? It's about, I forget, it's titled now. It, he made a film about uh, the assassination of the Palestinians who, who uh, carried on, on the Munich Olympic game. What's the name of the film? Munich. It's called Munich. It's called Munich. 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 Called Munich? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, anyway, but they sent me only my, my scene. It was one scene. They sent me the scene. I, I insisted on reading the whole script. Because it's a very sensitive issue, I can't, as an Arab, to go and make a scene in a film which is talking about very sensitive issue. Because I have my own point of view of terrorism, uh, it might not comply with the vision of the film. First, before the Egyptian accent was the Palestinian accent. In Italian Palestinian. It's very hard to speak an accent which is not used, and to be able to let you have to learn that in within two months, maximum two months. It's very hard working. It's frustrating, but it's my work. I have to do it. <laughs> something we have both of us to do it. Mm. We as an Arab, uh, we have to have the, this ambition and to have the resources and the aim to do that. Reaching the West in films is not an easy thing to do. Because especially here in America, the film industry is so vast and so uh, sophisticated. Uh, it doesn't need actually foreign films very much. Uh, sometimes curiosity make American audience go and see foreign films, mm -hmm. especially if they were Arab. Mm -hmm. And uh, the 11th of September was a good chance, even it was a very bad thing to happen, very bad for the Americans and for us as Muslims and Arabs, and we condemn this very strongly. But it was a chance because the curiosity of the Western 
audience towards us as Arabs and Muslims was a huge, mm. uh, but actually we couldn't get that chance because everybody in the West, they want to know about us, what's Islam, what's Quran, and what we believe, how, how, how we run our families, how we run our business, how we get married, mm. how we love, do we have girlfriends, do we don't have girlfriends, why women, uh, some Muslim women put veil and some they don't. Is, she, is, is the woman who put veil, she is a good Muslim and the, the woman without it, not a good Muslim. All these questions was going on in the mind of the, uh, I mean, in the West. And it was a good time for us actually to, to jump on the stage and to say our words. But we couldn't get that chance because we weren't prepared. Mm. And we still, as Arabs, we don't appreciate truly, by deeds, not by words, the importance of films, music, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, theater, art in general, to present ourselves to the other. Mm. We are living now in the age of media. Media do everything. Mm. Actually, we are, we, we, you can turn the right, uh, wrong and the wrong right in media. Uh, we as Arabs, we don't know how to play the game and we don't spend enough effort to do it as, uh, at the same time, mm -hmm. even though we, do, we have the money mm -hmm. and we have the talented people. Mm -hmm. But the talented and, uh, people with the ability to do that, they don't have money. And the people who have the money, they don't have the talent that they need. We can't get together. I, I think it, uh, the, the story you are working on uh, determines whether you, you have uh, a Yemeni direct or not. Uh, if I have uh, a Yemeni, uh, for instance, let me say, I'm now doing a film about students here in Detroit, Arab students in Detroit, and one of them is Yemeni. Then he will speak in Yemeni dialect. Yes. We haven't so, we haven't reached that stage. That? We haven't reached that that stage. So when will that come? Yeah, oh, I don't know really. It it depends. It depends on the uh, uh, going on in the Arab television production, but. Uh, uh, I think we are getting there, but it needs some, some time. Uh, of course not. I'm proud of what we have done, but I can't be, uh, I mean, uh, foolish to uh, to uh, to recognize that as the end. No, we still. Uh, have in the head of us uh, a long way to go.